Hey everyone, Squee here. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Um, it is the next morning. We are all packed up and ready to go, mostly. Just got to uh, throw the tent back on Alley. There we go. And uh, we are decked out in our furry stuff because we're about to go into some cold weather areas. Um, and one last look at the map before we go. So we're going to basically be heading uh, as north as possible. I don't know if we want to go over this ridge. Maybe around a little bit. But we're going to start heading towards that. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. And yes, it is thundering still. Not really rainy. It's just been thundering for the whole night. So... We're just going to go and then see if um, if it does start pouring down, we might have to pop up a tent somewhere. And I think this might not be a good option for us. Oh, well, maybe we can get down this way. Of course, there's a bear there. Ha. Bye, Mr. Bear. Oh, that's a bit steep. Oh, jeez. No, no. Me no likey bear. Okay, that worked, actually. More or less. Ah, come on. Come on, Allie. There's a bear behind us. There we go. Found a nice way over the mountain. Wasn't too steep, too difficult. Uh, now we just... Uh, head towards the uh, marker. I don't know if there's a road that really takes us there. <clears throat> so we'll just head towards it. Goats! Oh god, goats! Watch out. They're dangerous. Not really our problem. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Whoa, careful now. Where are we exactly? What? What? We're following the wrong... What? What is this? Okay, then. We are headed the complete wrong direction. Hooray for us and our stupidity. So, back the way we came. Uh, if we can, even. Alright, you know what? Whoa! 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 Okay, hang on. Let's take a look at the map. Let's figure out the best way to get there. Um, <clears throat> honestly, the best way uh, would probably be around here. What the heck? Okay, so the best way is probably take a right. I know it's not exactly the uh, fastest way, but better than going over that mountain again whoa you can't beat me whoa <laughs> hang on now people whoa calm down I missed. One more. I can take you. Sure you can. There we go. Sorry, Freya. You were too slow.
Now, my worry is it what have they done to this town? Obviously, most people don't sit there and just let Forsworn sit on their doorstep. Oh. It's not really a town so much as a house. Hello? Is everyone okay? Make sure they're okay. Game. Thank you. Look, not trying to steal anything. Just want to make sure you're okay. <laughs> A bunch of forsworn outside. Um, they don't tend to leave very many survivors. Of course, they're also not the most adept at locking doors, I would think. Maybe. Better safe than sorry. Hello? Hello? Okay, well. No one here for you. I don't know if that's troubling or not. In any case, we killed the Forsworn that were here so either the people that were here were long dead or for whatever reason they weren't home and they got lucky either way there's nothing more we can do so uh, we continue on continuing on Whoa. Okay, there we go. Alright, um... We actually need to take a right now. You know, because that's easy to do. Maybe up here. I am having a lot of issues with my game. I think after Dawn Guard, I'm going to uh, do a thorough reworking of my game, figure out what mods are causing problems, and just generally try and clean things up. Hello, where are we? Morakath. Morakath. Not really where we need to go, honestly. Um, definitely not where we need to go. So, we go back this way. And start heading over this mountain. Not ideal, but... Dragon noises. Well, that's good. See if we can't find a way up here that's not too steep. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I might have to just restart the game or something. <sighs> Seriously. The hell? Um, okay, that's just like a pond. We're headed the right direction at least.
Just skirt around the edge here. Still headed the right way, I assume. Yes, we are. We're almost gonna hit a road. Well, this is kind of a road, a trail at least. Whoa! Uh. Actually, I'm not sure which one to take down. They're kind of both bad. Well, gee. You know what? I'm um, just going to go about my business. <laughs> I'm not really sure whose side to even take on that. If either of them. Uh, I mean, generally, I like, you know, they're very dangerous things, but they're kind of in the middle of nowhere in the wild. They're not a real poseable danger to anyone. I'm not just going to kill something just because it could possibly be a danger one day. Maybe. Just, uh, obviously they have issues to sort out. I am going to let them do that. <sighs> just like I have issues to sort out with this game. Um, what? Oh, I have to cross the river. Well, that seems like a very affordable spot right there. There. Easy peasy. Okay. Yeah, my game is having a lot of trouble loading stuff, as you can see. This is not good. Hi there. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. So just look around, will you? Um, yeah, okay, I will, but uh, Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... No, no, um... Look, I understand. I get it. He's not exactly the charmingest of fellows, but there's vampires threatening all of Skyrim. We, we need you. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I wish I knew, but they have an Elder Scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case... Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. It's a good way to look at it. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. Oh, I see so where this is I going. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Sorry, I don't happen to just keep those on. Look, I, I think you'd try this. Look, I'm sorry, but there is no time for that. Fine, fine. I can't afford to forget about this work, though. Some very interesting applications. Now, where is it I'm supposed to be going? I mean, I think Squeebird would be like, Dwarven Chivers, lady, they have an Elder Scroll. 
The, the gyros will wait. We're meeting at Fort Ongard. Ah, oh, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Thank you. Good day. Okay, well, on to... What's his face? Um... Over here somewhere. So, the closest is going to be Helgen. Ooh, because I really want to go there again. Where would be a better place to go? No. Helgen is the best place to fast travel to, so we'll just fast travel there. Yeah, after this episode's done in about, you know, a few minutes, I'm going to restart the game, maybe look into trying to clean it up a little bit. See what the issue is. I don't I don't I don't know. Uh, like I said, I do need to give it a good thorough breakdown and cleaning as far as mods are concerned, but that's something that would take a while and I don't want to have a break in the LP that long. Not yet. We're going to just muddle through. Uh, this is probably a good time to tell everyone. I, I, I plan on, because we've been doing this for quite a while, since, oh, months and months ago. I've been doing lots of Skyrim, and um, I don't want to get burnt out on it, especially since there's no end in sight. I mean, I plan on doing the main quest and the Dragonborn DLC, and I haven't even finished On Guard. Not to mention all the crazy stuff in between that I somehow seem to always get messed up in. Um... I plan on finishing Dawnguard and coming to a stopping point there, and then I'm going to be taking a break from Skyrim for, oh, at least a few months. Um, consider it like a season, you know? That'll be the end of this season of Skyrim, and in a few months we'll start the next season of Skyrim. Um, and I know some people will be really sad by that, but it it'll keep me from getting burnt out on playing Skyrim. Um, it'll also give me time to fully clean this game and get it running again, and it will give me time to, uh, develop some of the custom story elements that I want to pursue. Uh, I know that I have gone to mostly a just reacting to the game with Squeeper and Freya, but there are certainly some custom things that I want, and, uh, this, this will give me the time I need to try and develop them and get them working. So, and then what we might do, depending on how long they take, is we might do another season where it's like the main quest line and, and, and shenanigans, and then take another break and then do Dragonborn. So, I, again, I would expect this LP to, to take quite a while. But, we will finish Dawnguard first. No ifs, ands, or buts. What? I'm right here. Hey. 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 What are you doing? Right here. Hey! You there. Hold fast. Hi. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Okay, then. Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help? Never thought I'd hear that. I'm know, afraid right? he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We're up against a lot of vampires. Vampires? That... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not so sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the Eight. Alright, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay, then. I will help you. See, that I will help you do. Dwarven gyros, not so much. Killing angry bear? I got that. Come on. 
Come on, let's do this. Oh, hurry up, dude. You're taking way too long. We're in a hurry. Let's do this. <laughs> We're in a hurry, man. Let's kill this bear and go. Where is this bear? Oh, joy, trolls. Is that your bear? There's the bear. Can we go now? Look, the bear's dead. <laughs> the bear is dead. Can we go? Oh, hello. Oh, it's just a bandit. Don't mind if I do. Can we go? Hey, hey! Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. Yeah, no problem. You've helped me. So I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, said to meet him there. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. <laughs> I do like that whole... Well, first we gotta take out this bear. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. Look, it's done. Can we go now? Oh, no, it's a, it's a dangerous bear with sharp... Razor teeth and it's it's dead. Can we go? What did you um wh What but I was tracking that bear for two weeks Eh, two minutes all I needed. Let's go. Hello All right, so here's the deal folks. I will um Fast travel to dawn guard uh, and then we'll just start the next episode there Hopefully after I've cleaned things up a bit. So we'll see you guys then